Hey, it's Josh Farkas with the Polker Blog, University of Vermont. We're going to do a quick teaching video here on how to do an ultrasound guided subclavian line. This is um, Alejandro, one of our <laughs> residents, who's been conned into doing this procedure. Thanks, Alejandro. Sure. All right. So, so we're going to get started with the linear probe. Um, the probe indicator is on the left, so I'm matching up with the left here. Um, so you guys, so one of you is... Yeah, I'm on okay. this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so just and try to like zoom in on the screen as yeah. much as you can. So we're going to start out in neutral position, um, and I'm kind of lining up this with the screen and scanning in longitudinal position. So that's the clavicle there on the right side of the screen, and here you can start to see some vessels as we go laterally. So that's going to be um, the subclavian vein there on the left. You can see it's a bit collapsible. Let me see if I can collapse. There you go, um, and then subclavian artery on the right. Although that's probably a bit more of the axillary artery. Um, and then as we go medially, um, we can kind of track the subclavian vein. And there you can see, this is a subclavian vein, um, but beneath it, um, you can actually get the sense that there's a little bit of lung sliding there. So this is relatively close to the pleural line, not necessarily the greatest place to do a procedure. Um, as we go more medial, once again, we can still see the lung slide there kind of behind it. Um, and then if we continue to go more medially, we're still lung, and then the clavicle is kind of cutting us off here. So in a neutral position, this wouldn't necessarily be the greatest procedure to do. Um, so now why don't you go ahead and shrug your shoulder up. Perfect. Um, now he's shrugging his shoulder. We're going to look at the same exact anatomy. Um, so there you can see the clavicle. I'm sorry. So clavian vein. There you can see a little valve. Um, and there you get the sense, if you look behind the subclavian vein, there's kind of a bright structure. There's no um, lung movement at all. So that's probably subclavian bone there. Um, so this would be a reasonable place. Where, you know, we're starting to get the sense that this is a, um, some favorable anatomy here. Um, so once again, this tracks inward. If we go laterally a bit, um, it's okay. And then... Now we're, see, now we can start seeing a lung here a bit, um, but from here, in, in order to kind of differentiate between lung and bone, you need to hold the probe really still um, and kind of see is, if there's a lung sliding behind it or not. Um, so that actually looks pretty good. That's, that's a nice bone signal there. Um, it's bright. There's nothing moving behind it. Um, so I think I'd be happy with that. Um, and then we can do the fan technique where I'm kind of fanning a little bit. So here, I'm fanning the targets moving back and forth a little bit so I can try to re-angle somewhat. Ideally you want it so that when you fan, um, the vein is staying mostly in the same place. And I think that's actually a bit better. See, now when I'm fanning, the vein is kind of staying more or less in the center of the screen. So this would probably be a reasonable place to, to cannulate the vein. We have a little bit of real estate here. Um, there's kind of a bony target behind us. There's a valve there. It proves that you know this is a vein; it's not an artery. Okay, so let's get going. So we got the linear probe in a kind of a transverse orientation here, and you know, like, you know, like a neutral position is perfect. You know, I think starting out laterally makes it easier to identify the vessels. Um, so there we can see um, the axillary vein on the left and the axillary artery on the right. So you with a little gentle compression, you can compress it and you can see the axillary veins pulse up. Now if we trace these in a little bit, you can see um, the vein getting a bit bigger. And there, for example, this is a shot where um, you can see the lung slide posterior to the vein, um, pretty close to the vein. Also the vein's kind of small and collapsible. So this is kind of an example of a place you would really not want to go. Um, if we go more medial, the vein gets a bit bigger. We're still dealing with the lung tissue behind it. Um, I think one of the trickiest things here is to distinguish between bone and lung tissue, but if you then just hold the probe really slowly, you can see that the lung tissue is clearly moving. Um, so that's good. Ryan is still alive. Um, moving more medial here, I think you can get a sense that the lung tissue actually transitions to first rib. So this is probably our first rib here. And the vein's getting bigger, so things are getting better to cannulate, but then you can see on the right that clavicles essentially encroaching on our view. So it's hard to get a 
view here where you can see the vein, the first rib underneath it, um, and not get kind of blocked by the clavicle. So now Brian's going to shrug his left shoulder up super high. Thanks, man. Um, and we'll take another look here. So now, um, backtracking against the vein there. You got to hydrate more when you're on call. This is, this is <laughs> tending abuse right here. Um, so that's the vein there. Um, and this, I would think, is a pretty reasonable shot. So um, one nice thing, you can see the, um, the valve of the vein right there. So that's always a beautiful thing when you see that. Um, you know you're not going to um, go into an artery. Um, and then if we look behind the vein here, we get the sense that there's a bright line there. There's nothing really moving. So now we've kind of displaced the clavicle upwards, um, and we have a shot here of the subclavian vein with bone behind it. Um, and this is a pretty reasonably big target. Um, now let's see if we can open this up a little bit. So now we want to do the fan tests and try to keep the vein more or less in the middle of the screen when we're fanning back and forth. Um, so, for example, like if we were totally misaligned and we're fanning, you see that um, the vein's kind of going from one side of the screen to the other when we fan. So that's not good. So we're trying to align the probe axis with the vein. So here, if we're fanning, we want to just kind of keep it uh, more or less in the same place. Yeah, that's probably pretty reasonable. Um, so this would be a reasonable place to go here. Um, Ryan is kind of volume depleted. If I go laterally, this vein starts collapsing on me. Um, but I think that would be a pretty reasonable shot there. Um, and I can probably get a sense that um, there's not a lot of soft tissue here, so it wouldn't be very difficult to work your way down to that um, subclavian vein. It's backed up by bone. There's a the valve there, and it's a pretty big time.